So then we're going to talk about another thing, which is money, right? We talked about this a little bit. Where are you going to get the money to start your business? So I had a guy who talked to me yesterday. This is weird. Um, he's a son of a friend of an old high school friend. So, yeah, right? So they got my contact name from whatever, this maze of whatever. He calls me up and he's like, um, I want to start a business and I heard you're the guy to talk to. I'm like, yeah, sure, what do you got going on? He's like, well, Kraft is folding up in Madison, right? Oscar Meyer. So he's like, I want to buy that building and turn it into apartments. Okay, great. And he's like, I want to know what I need. And the first thing you're going to need is some money, right? Because I'm just guessing they're not going to give it away. It's a big chunk of property, right? Big building. So I'm like, um, typical for getting a loan and stuff like that, they're going to want at least 20% down. For something that risky, they might want more. So do you have any money to put down for something like that? No. Great. Great. Money's not a roadblock, right? It's just a hurdle. So you're going to need some investors. So have you ever sold anything? Because you're going to have to sell people on this, right? Never. So I'm like, what do you do now? I'm a welder. Great, right? This is just getting better. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, um, apartments. Have you ever managed apartments? Because that's going to be a lot of apartments in Oscar Mayer, right? And uh, he's like, no, but I live in one now. <laughs> Chalk it up to experience, right? Boom. <laughs> so I'm like, none of these are roadblocks. They're all just hurdles. Yeah. Big ones. <laughs> but you've got to get over some of this stuff. So it was interesting talking to him because he had this dream, whatever. He wants to make some money. This is a way to make money. Buy a building that's not for sale yet and turn into things that you have no experience with. Doesn't matter. Uh, the point is, he's, he would need a lot of cash. I don't know what the retail value is on Oscar Mayer, but I'm assuming it's pretty high. Fair? Fair. Even if you're talking about down payment alone, many thousands of dollars. So, whatever your business is, whatever you guys want to start, you're going to need capital. Maybe it's for just a computer, laptop, something like that. Maybe it's for tools or equipment. Maybe it's for programs, software programs. Maybe it's for ovens, sinks, mixers, the building itself, the build out in the building, the studio, the mats, whatever you got, right? So you've got to figure out where you're going to get that money. Maybe you have it, you're just going to take it out of your savings. Maybe you're going to talk to a bank. They have SBA loans, so then you're getting down to 10%. A few more rules, but you know, as far as that goes. And then how long do you want to be paying that back? Does that kind of make sense? So essentially you have time initially that you're trading for money, and then you also have money that you're trading for money. So you invest, let's say $10,000 in whatever, and then you want to get that paid back. Hopefully with interest, right? So that's, uh, that's yet another thing. Does that make sense? All right, so we talked about that a little bit. Let's keep rolling. <laughs>